everyone, welcome back to my channel, Serena V here, and today I'm going to be doing a October daily tips and tricks video for you guys with examples. So you can see here all of my Halloween albums and October dailies, so I'm going to go through them and give you guys some ideas of how I do my October dailies and what helps me prepare and get ready and my process started with you guys. Just want to show you really quick my kit i put it together already i have this tray and this is my october daily kit so i will have a separate video going through this also giving you ideas and tips on how you can put a kit together and different items to include and stuff like that so stay tuned for video on my october daily kit i have an october daily 101 video i think i made in 2015 so i'll link it down below for you guys but i have a blog post that goes with that with that video and I really broke it down into what an October daily is, how to prepare and a bunch of different things. So I'm just going to be reading from that and look it's Buffy. I also created an October daily and Halloween inspiration Facebook group. If you guys want to join the link will be down below. So let's get started. What is an October daily? An October daily is basically inspired by Ali Edwards's December daily. She created this many many years ago and it's to document every single day in December leading up to Christmas. I started to do October dailies in 2015 because I'm like Halloween is my favorite holiday and I love October, I love fall, so why not? So I stopped doing December dailies a couple years ago and I'm just doing October dailies. There are different ways you can do October dailies. You can do them in uh, pocket page albums, you can do them in albums you create yourself, you can do them in traveler's notebooks, in planners, you can do a photo a day for photographers. If you're a journaler, you can do October Daily by journaling and then maybe adding one photo here and there. The number one tip for October Daily is having an October Daily kit. Taking out your Halloween products and having it out isn't enough. When you're ready to sit down and work on your October Daily, it gets pretty overwhelming. If you've done an October Daily or December Daily in the past, you know what I mean. So it's really important, like I showed you before, to take things out that you know you want to use and have a separate kit. Stickers, washi tape, die cuts, project life cards, Whatever you are going to need for your form of crafting and your form of documenting for October, it's better to have a kit separated from your regular Halloween stuff. Everything you need in one spot, ready to go. And if you ever want to add some stuff from your sash, you can always go back and pull from your Halloween collection. But um, having a separate kit is super important. And like I said, I will have a separate video on that. Another tip and trick is to have a journal or any type of way of keeping track if you use your cell phone you can keep notes on your cell phone for what you do each day and which pictures you want to print i usually have like these little journals from uh, target that i like to use and i just i use them for project life as well and i just write down every single day in october what i want to document for that day and the pictures that go with that day so i don't forget because a lot of the times i do not finish october daily in october and i do like batch crafting i sit down and i do a week at a time or two weeks at a time if you don't keep track of your october in a Different things you do in it it's gonna be really hard to catch up so again either use your phone note section on your phone or any other apps you have for organizing even your photos have dates so that can be something you can use to um, keep track of what you did in October but it's just really important to have a plan of action so decide how you're gonna keep track of your October events and everything you do in October. The next tip is figure out how you're gonna print your photos. If you have a home printer, use that. If you have a Canon selfie, you can use that or any of those other um, type of home printers. So that's another thing you should decide on. If you are going to be printing your photos at a store, then you can batch print everything. So then you can go print out all your photos at a store and then you craft that weekend. So that's one plan that a lot of people do sometimes if you don't have a home printer. And another thing you can do is plan fun activities. You know, sometimes people always say, oh, I don't do Project Life because my life is boring or I don't do October Daily because I don't do something special every single day in October or December. That's fine. You don't have to do every something all the time. There are prompts out there. I created my own prompt. I'll link it down below if you guys want to. But now there's so much more information about October Daily out there. If you do a quick Pinterest uh, search, my prompt comes up and as well as many other ones. So... You don't have to document every single day in October. You can document a movie you watched, one of your favorite Halloween movies. You can document one of your favorite Halloween or spooky books. It doesn't have to be something you do every single day. It could be something you just want to document about Halloween or about fall that you really love. Planning fun activities is really important. If you know you want to go pumpkin picking or apple picking, you know, then schedule that in somewhere. Or if there's a haunted house at your local theme park or something like that, schedule that in. It's going to be really fun to look back on when you see that you took the time to plan fun things to do in your October. And you don't have to plan something every single day, every single week. Like I said, you can use those uh, quiet days to document your favorite movie, your favorite um, 
Halloween candy, your favorite pajamas for Halloween or fall. There's different things you can do and I'm pretty sure you guys can come up with really fun ideas too. If you want more information, like I said, I'll link my blog post down below, my original October Daily 101 video. I'll also include my October Daily Master Playlist, all the videos that I've created for October Daily throughout every single year. Now I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my October Dailies and Halloween albums to give you some more tips and tricks of things you can do in your album and different interactive elements. So here are all my Halloween albums and I'm going to be going through them, giving you a flip through with examples of tips and tricks that I like to do in my October Daily that hopefully will inspire you and you can use in your October Daily for this year. If you're going to be making your own handmade albums for October Daily, just keep in mind that with time they do warp and depending on the way you do store them, just keep in mind they will be warping with time so the really cool thing about making these type of albums is that there is a lot more creative room because you're designing it from scratch you get to decide how you want your pockets or your pages to look like so this is the first Halloween album I've ever made and I like to document things in my October daily like like different hauls and stuff like that and swaps from friends I documented my favorite snack different cards I made that year another really cool thing is that you get to make belly bands I just added a piece of punched out paper and then I added some more pictures on little tags I created and I did a journaling on the back I even have an extra photo here of how I made the little Jack Skellington uh, tree topper this adds an interactive element to your pages, so it's not just flipping through, you can pull stuff out and look behind to see hidden journaling. Usually theme parks do a little Halloween special and they decorate and everything and they have haunted houses, so that's really fun to document if you decide to do that. This was taken at a Halloween store. Here I created a little tuck spot for some journaling. So that's another interactive element that you can do for your mini albums. That way people don't necessarily know there's journaling there and that's really important if you want to do some hidden journaling. And another fun thing is I love incorporating paper bags. I'm like a paper bag fiend if you guys don't know already. And this is another fun way to incorporate a paper bag. I just cut it in half and that way I had a lot of photos for the zombie walk that happened. And obviously I wasn't going to make five pages on my zombie walk. But what I did was I used these 3x4 Project Life cards from Mambi and I just, you know, journaled behind. So I just journaled behind the card about what each photo is. And these are just some really cool costumes. There's my card, my ticket. It, there's really cool costumes and I just love that because it adds an interactive element as well like I mentioned before with the tags and I just love seeing everything kind of like peeking through and pulling stuff out to read it just makes the album a little bit more fun document your costumes I went as a creepy doll this year and I really documented that because you know it took a lot of time to go into putting the makeup and everything back then I had this beautiful purple hair that I really do miss. One of my favorite movies is Rocky Horror Picture Show and so I used a 3x4 Project Life card and I made it into a pocket. And then what I did here is I took the ticket and I did the journaling. I just added some patterned paper, did the journaling behind the ticket. And this is the playing card that they throw because it's an interactive show. There's a whole bunch of different things that people throw around, including toast. I love it. <laughs> and so this was uh, the card, one of the cards I found and it's a 3 which is my favorite number. So this is an actual 3x4 journaling card so I just back it up and I think that's really cute. So that's another fun way to incorporate ephemera and stuff like that from different things you do, different events you go to in October. And then the end again I use another pocket and I just have some extra photos that I didn't put in because yeah I took a lot of selfies with this makeup on. So funny. But anyway um, so I have all these photos in here as extras. So that was the first Halloween album and my first mini album I've ever made actually and I just absolutely love it. So that was 2013. Now this is moving on to 2014. I, again I created my own album and I do have a tutorial, more than one tutorial actually. So if you guys want to check it out I will link it down below for you guys. So for this one I went to Disney and Universal for Halloween and I'm going again this year. I'm so excited. Another fun tip is to take the pamphlets. I took the maps and the little things that they give you and I took a couple of them and then you can cut into them. What I like to do is cut up the little parts, the little descriptions of all the different activities I took part in. So basically I just cut the cover off and I put it here. I made a little introduction page. You can take a piece of 4x6 paper, fold it in half. This way you create more room for photos and journaling. I included a bunch of different pages in my album. So this is a little tag page with more photos. 
and then here you can use paper bags which I love to do and then I did my journaling here so I just took a card and then I did my journaling and added an extra photo a candy stash from trick-or-treating and what I did here was I took the little tab from the pamphlet that way I know that it's a pull tab so I have some extra stuff to look at in there so again, you can see I use a paper bag and this way I added more photos, more journaling. So here's an example. I just cut up the um, description of the parade and I added it to my journaling card. And there are more photos and journaling here and I did some stamping as well. We did go to the villain soiree and we went inside Cinderella's castle and we ate these amazing desserts inspired by some of the villains in Disney. So that was really fun. So this element is really cool. I created a matchbook style element piece with a bunch of more photos. This is a great way to save space in your albums. And another great tip is to make photo collages because I take a lot of photos, I'm not gonna lie, I take a ton of photos. So I really wanna document that, especially over here, it was a selfie fail. We tried to take so many and we all look really funny. With so. That is really cute, simple decorating, and then some more photos with the different villains we were able to meet at, at this event. And again, so it just folds down and it has this cute little lip here that it says do not enter, which I thought was so sweet because it's like, huh, what does that mean? You open it up and there are more goodies inside. So I really love adding interactive elements like that. This album is not finished, by the way. Um, I will finish it one day. So again, just doing a lot of layering and photos. The fireworks, I actually started crying because this meant so much to me. So here again, you see that I cut up a little pamphlet and this is the Hollow Wishes fireworks display. So that way I remember it started at 9.30. We also met Jack, which was amazing. And Jack and Sally were so freaking awesome. And Sally was so cute. We were both talking about our dresses. And then we went to Universal Studios. So this is a documenting Nocturne Alley. And of course, Beetlejuice. I love my Beetlejuice. So you can use any sort of punch you have in your stash and then leave enough room and then that way you can create a pocket and that's another fun element that you can include in your in your albums. And this year I had gray hair. <laughs> I love looking back and seeing all that. So yeah, the rest isn't done, but I did have I did plan out all the pictures that go for each page. That way, if, when I ever go back to it, I know where I'm going to put everything. If you do events, gather the pamphlets, gather whatever you can from that event. That way, you can include it in your album and it adds a fun element because you're including real life ephemera. And one more tip, if you do create an album yourself, please, please, please use the proper adhesive. Adhesive is very, very important, especially when you make an album for memory keeping that you want to last forever. You use the products you love, you use the paper you love, you don't want to have things fall off or break apart. I actually had to re-glue this cover because it just completely peeled off. The tape that I used was from the dollar store and it was dried and it just ripped off like, like tissue paper. It was so gross. And one glue that I really recommend if you want to create your own albums is the Tombow Extreme Adhesive. This thing works like magic. It's so strong. It's the perfect adhesive for creating projects like this. I tell you guys, this is awesome and you won't regret it. Now we're going to get started into my October daily albums. All right, so the next tip. I like to make October daily title pages. Kind of like an introduction to the album. So if people are going to pick it up from the shelf in your house, and they don't know what they're looking at, then they'll know right away, okay, this is an October daily, and you can decorate the front covers of your albums if you'd like. I only did that for this one right here, and I'll get into that afterwards, but I tend to not really decorate the covers. I like to do the cover pages in the inside of the album, that way, if things unglue with time, it's protected by an extra layer, versus if you put it on the front, things might fall off. And then I created a shaker pocket. This one's one of my favorites. I just put the photo in the middle, and then I use all around it so that I created a fun interactive shaker that goes all around the photo. And here are my October daily prompts, so again, I'll link that below if you guys want to see that. So right off the bat, this documents a swap that I did with my friend Sabrina Ann. And another great tip for you guys is to include the ephemera and the goodies that you get in your swaps. That is something super important to me. I absolutely love doing that. I like to take a picture as well of the things that I got looking back. You're going to forget what you got when. So this way I get to see what I got for that year from my friend Sabrina. This is something she made. I added it in this pocket. This is actually from the Nightmare Before Christmas. You can see it right here. Pocket letter she made me, so I added that here. 
it makes it more personal and just a lot more fun because you get to see these really cool things. She sent me some candy and I kept the packaging because I've never seen a villain mix for Jelly Bellies. I love Jelly Bellies. So I cut up the packaging and I put it here and I added some stickers and some enamel knots to decorate it. If you look at that, you probably wouldn't even think that was a candy wrapper, but it is. So again, use up the ephemera and the goodies that you want to document. Another tip. Take a, take a piece of paper or a little card and do your journaling on the inside. Decorate it on both sides if you'd like or you can add more photos. That way, if you don't like your handwriting, sometimes I don't like my handwriting so that way I can hide that away and no one's really going to know unless you tell them or you know that there's extra journaling in there to document the photos. So again, there is another candy wrapper she sent me. I think they're so beautiful and it adds an extra element to the album because they're villains and there's dark purples and dark greens and it's just so fun. Again, this is from the Beetlejuice pocket letter she gave me. Isn't that the cutest? I created a shaker pocket here with the goodies that she sent me in the, in the swap and then she sent me this pack of Beetlejuice cards. I never opened it. I put it directly into this album behind some black and white striped paper because it's just so fitting. And there's a surprise number two. Isn't that cute? So that's her writing and it's in my album forever and ever. Okay guys, another fun tip for you. I absolutely love using paper bags. As you've seen in my other albums, I'm a paper bag fiend. So another fun way to add a photo and then journaling and more elements that you have in your album is creating a paper bag pocket. So you can see I had a lot of journaling and I actually did journaling for two days, October 2nd and October 3rd, which is here. This is October 3rd. So a great way to add your journaling again hidden journaling is something I love to do that way you can just focus on the pictures and the decorative elements that you include in your album another tip for you guys woohoo tips all around this is a tag from something I bought I don't know exactly what it was but it's so freaking cute I know I got it at TJ Maxx and that way I can add it in my album and it just adds another fun element another fun thing you can do I got my tarot read by a friend and she included a photo here and then what I did was inside here is the actual um, email she sent me with the information for my tarot card reading so I have that in here and that's a really cool thing to look back on. I'm actually going to read this after when I stop filming to see what came true and what didn't. That's going to be really fun and really cool. So that's another fun thing you can do if you're into tarot or if you're into psychics. You can go see a psychic and get your tarot or your palms read. And different fun things like that, you know, because it's it's festive and it's in the season and that's just different fun things you can include. I personally do that all year round. I mean, I've never had my palms read or anything, but I like to see my tarot readings and horoscopes all year round. But if you aren't really into that, that may be something fun that you can do and try during October. Another paper bag. And see, for day five, I didn't have anything, so I documented one of my favorite movies. And I absolutely love the spread. I love Rocky Horror Picture Show, as you've seen in my other album. It's one of my favorite movies ever. And this is actually the packaging. So another fun tip. Keep the packaging if you like it and use it in your projects. So it's like an extra piece of ephemera. You guessed it. More journaling inside. This was in the news actually. They kind of got together and took a, did a little photo shoot. So that was important for me to document. And I was able to document how it's my favorite movie as well. And I just used the backing of a paper bag. I didn't cover the paper bag element. I um, just did the back side of it. Another thing you can document is Halloween movies that come out. I know this year there's going to be the... Um, Goosebumps movie and Halloween 4. Guys, I'm so excited. So document your Halloween movies and document your pumpkin spice lattes. This is the first one I've ever had in my life and it was particular. Not gonna lie, every time I try it every year, I'm like, oh yeah, this is what it tastes like. I kind of need a little bit getting used to it. No, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, and I also had turquoise hair this year. <laughs> this is so fun to see the different colors of hair I had in this time in October of every year. This is so fun. I love it. A little haul is another thing I love to document my hauls. And then another fun thing, I like to sometimes use Polaroids pictures like this. This is from my Instax printer. And this just adds a fun element, vintage kind of look, and another way to include photos. Piece of paper and I backed it up with some washi. So that's another fun little trick for you guys using your washi tape. I know I have a lot of washi tape and that's one great way to use up your washi for Halloween. Another great thing is to document your favorite movies. For Halloween, I always go to these movies every single year. I watched Buffy, the Halloween episodes, and Hush because it's creepy and it's perfect for Halloween. So what I did here 
You guessed it. This is another paper bag and I turned it into a pocket. So there's extra journaling in here. Isn't that fun? You wouldn't think that it's a pocket, but it is. It's a paper envelope. I just cut it to size so that it would fit in the pocket and it's really cute. So that's another fun trick for you guys. So these are pictures I took from Halloween at La Ronde, which is our local theme park. Really cute, did some journaling. I took a Project Life card, cut it a little bit so that I can layer it on top of this other 3x4 card. Another fun tip is to include Halloween cards. I love doing that. This is a card I actually created myself for a project for Diamond Dyes. They sponsored my Halloween series this that year. And so I created a bunch of different projects and I took the invitation thing that I created using my Monster Bash stamp set and I decorated the back of it so that I could do some journaling for the 17th. So again, use your cards. If you find really cute ones at the dollar store, you can easily punch holes in them and incorporate them into your albums. This is cool. This little tab here signifies that there's something to pull. That's another fun trick for you guys. This is an actual card base that I cut and ta-da, more pictures, more hidden journaling about the whole night. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. And that way I know that I could pull this out and there's more in there for me to read and for me to see. Sometimes I document things that are not so fun and this was really scary. I got into my first ever car accident. Someone hit me in, in the back and so I documented that as well. I started catching up on Supernatural and I worked on these two cards. Again, use your swaps and stuff that you get. I hosted a Secret Reaper swap and this is the card that came with my Reaper's um, package. And so I use, I decorated the back and this is a great way to use up stickers. I had a bunch of extra things that I just couldn't use. And this card, this is my life, is so funny. It's not Halloween related, but I used it in here. But I made it Halloween-y because I had orange foil and I use up extra stickers and stuff, so that's a really good way to use your stash. I added a photo of the goodies she sent me, and then I did my journaling there. Uh, pumpkin carving is really fun to do during the Halloween season. This documents the 22nd and the 23rd, so don't be scared of putting, if you don't have a lot of stuff or you have a configuration like this, don't be afraid to add more than one day per page. This is still to this day one of my favorite cards. I love the layering I did on here so pretty and it's okay if you document the same things every year in 2013 you saw that I my favorite snack was pumpkin seeds and you'll see that again in my other albums to come so just document the things you do even if it's the same thing every year that's okay because it means something to you and it's important and special to you and I want to show you really fun this photo is not glued down I paper clipped it so I can flip it over and know that there's more journaling under the photo incorporating some Happy Mail that I got from my friend Tasha. This is cool. I used my fuse tool to cut the pocket in half and then my journaling for the 26th and the 27th. It kind of looks like it's all together, but it's not. They're two separate journaling spots. Document the TV shows that you love that come back, you know? That's really fun to document as well. And I did my journaling here for Walking Dead. I was able to dress up for work and I went as a Beetlejuice-inspired little outfit. So this is really cool. There's two parts to this pocket and I think it is awesome. You see this right here? This is a cluster. This pulls out. You wouldn't think so. I just added adhesive to some of the sides but not here. So look how cute and added some stickers and I did journaling. Hidden journaling again. And they layer together so nicely that people looking through your albums won't even know that there's something there. It looks like it's part of decoration in the background. Really awesome, right? And the back of that is really cool too. So this is a paper bag. There's a lip of the bag. Isn't that fun? I added photos. This comes out with more journaling. Tucks right in. And there's this side too that opens up to reveal more journaling. And another fun way to use up your stickers. So in one paper bag, you get really cool elements here fun elements here, and then hidden journaling on the side. I think that is really fun. I hope you guys can give that a try as well. And it goes back in there and no one would know there's more stuff in there. Isn't that cool? So you can see I kind of, I copy the same layout, but this doesn't come out. This is glued down. This, however, comes out. So I think that's really fun. 
And then guys, here is my candy treats page. My friends know I have a huge sweet tooth and they always send me fun Halloween candies. So what did I do? I took all the candy wrappers that I enjoyed and glued them down here in different ephemera bits. And I have more candy wrappers in here. Obviously, wash it if you have to. Look how cute, the little bag of bones. This is fun because in 10, 20 years, if you look back on this, these things might be discontinued and you'll always remember your bag of bones and smarties like this or scaries. Isn't that fun? Make sure you clean out the candy wrappers really well. You don't want them to smell sweet or anything because if you do put them in storage, you don't want to attract any bugs. And then lastly, I did a little collage of the different projects I made for that year and I think this is really cool because if you're crafty this is a great way to remember the different projects and crafts that you made that year even if you craft with your children if you don't want to include the, the artwork or whatever you create with your children in the album you can take photos of them and that way you'll know this year so and so did that so I think that's really fun so I added a bunch of extras that did not fit into the album so let's look through this I don't even remember what's in here oh perfect so this is from a card that I got for my first ever pumpkin spice latte from a different thing that I bought, little um, mystery boxes. This is a ticket to, I think, the, yeah, so this is a ticket to the theme park. I got this from my friend Danny, so this is a little um, souvenir. This is from my friend Christopher Allen from Brutus Monroe. This is a card that um, a friend made me with a vintage treat bag. Isn't that cute? She sent me some Happy Mail and I kept it in here. And another card a friend sent me, and then this is from something I bought. Another card my friend sent me, sadly, she has passed away. So this is really sweet because I'll always cherish that. And then here is the map of the of the theme park too. So extra goodies and ephemera that you collect from that year that you can't fit. I recommend getting a big little pocket like this. Target always has these, and you can add the extra goodies in there. All right, are you guys still with me? I know this is going to be a long video. I hope you enjoyed watching. So let's go into 2016. Again, another cover page. Love it. This year I did a lot with my theme, Spooky Pastel. I started creating items with pastel colors and pastel goth inspiration. And I started my new company, Paper Cakes, in 2016 with a launch for Halloween where I launched to the world Pastel Halloween. And I'm so proud of that. It's a trend that caught on quick and you see a lot of it now. So that's really fun. And here is a really fun interactive page. This is one of my favorite layouts and introduction pages ever. I just, I love it. I got this from my friend Sabrina Ann and it's so perfect. These are my prompts, but Sabrina made it pastel inspired. It's always fun to include your, the prompts into your album. That way, if you ever have a day that you have nothing to document, you can go to your prompt list and pick something that you want to document from the lists. This was supposed to be my intro introduction page, but Looking back, I'm like, no, it doesn't say October Daily. Same thing I love to do and include in my October Daily, so I needed to go back and create a cover page. But it's still really pretty, and I still obviously kept it in here. This is an interactive element. This is a picture, and it actually flips up, so I wrote some stats about my first sale. If you have nothing to do, or if you have nothing to document, go to some Halloween stores, take pictures with the props, or even the windows, and then you can call it done for a day. What I forgot to mention in my other albums, I love, 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 love making albums that have open concepts. So basically, I have the pocket pages as well as open concept pages. I love doing that's my favorite style of crafting. That is just when I do mini albums, that's what I do. I don't stick to just pocket pages. I also include interactive pieces that you can touch and feel and are tactile and it just... It just adds something extra to your albums. The fact that you're able to actually touch and feel everything, I love that. So again, another paper bag. And another little trick for you guys, don't, don't be afraid to use everyday crafting items. This is from Cute Girl Crate Paper, and it's a house. And I decorated the house that day, so why not, you know? And again, in here, just take out the paper clip, more photos, and more journaling. And here is a little shaker element that I got in some Happy Mail, and I think it's so cute. So what I did was I backed it up with another bat that I had in my stash, added some stickers. Again, use up those stickers, guys. This is your opportunity. If you have a huge Halloween stash like I do, you don't have to hoard your stickers because looking back, you'll always have them in your albums. And this is another element that I got from a swap from Courtney. Love that, so I added it into my album. This is a traditional envelope that I decorated. I added a little liner in there, so... That's another fun little tip you can do. So Thanksgiving dinner, 
And there they are, the pumpkin seeds again. I'm telling you, every year it's fun because you're documenting your tradition. And for me, making spicy pumpkin seeds is one of my Halloween and fall traditions. So this is fun. I used a journaling card and did my journaling on the sweaters. This is from my Spooky Pastel collection. And if you are interested, I will link my collections down below. This is a tag I made for the Tombow Design team using my papers and a stamped image. So I really liked it a lot and I added it into my album. I have all these fibers and ribbons that stick out of the album. And I love having things stick out of my album. So it just makes it extra fun. Another fun trick. Take those 4x6 cards and fold them in half. <laughs> This one day, day 11, day 13, journaling and photos inside. Isn't that awesome? And we're going to week three. Again, don't be afraid to document two things on the same card, the 16th and the 17th. Just use stickers to differentiate and you're good to go. And this day I watched that movie and I went to that Halloween store I always go for every year. Another tradition that is documented every year in my albums. Another fun thing right over here, it opens up and there are more photos and journaling in the back. An extra little tuck spot, an extra little place for photos and journaling. Another paper bag. As you can see, I love my paper bags. <laughs> and then in here, I documented my hair again. I did dark blue with forest green, so I absolutely love it. And I did the journaling on the back. I think there's more. Yep, there's me getting my hair did. And I used a Project Life card that I designed, and I just did some journaling on the back of that and added my photo. This day, I watched these two movies. This is, again, another fun shaker that I got from Courtney in my Halloween Secret Reaper swap. So I love, love, love including the elements and stuff that I get in Happy Mail. Instead of, like, letting it just, you know, sit in a box, I'm kind of giving these elements life and, and a purpose in my albums. And then, again, document your TV shows, guys. If you're a TV person like me, put it all in there. Document your swaps. This is fun. I got my business cards made and I made a shaker pocket with one of my business cards. So I thought that was really cute. And that year I had a Halloween party, so that was really fun. I took a lot of pictures of the different decorative elements. Another fun trick for you guys, this page I altered. So I fused the top here and I cut the sides and made it open from here because these photos were a little bit bigger, these cards here, and I wanted to make them a bit bigger than 3x4. So that's one fun thing you can do. This is a paper bag from Target and for my Halloween party we had we played this game called Telestrations and we made our own little versions of it and what I did was I kept the little booklets that we made in here. So everybody's little Telestrations things that we made are in here and it's going to be fun to look back on. This is just a card from Target and I did my journaling about the, my Halloween party. What you got to do is punch some holes that fit your binder and you're good to go. And this is cool. This is a little coin envelope. And again, you guessed it, there's journaling and photos in here. And I only adhered this, this little element to the top of the pocket so I can easily open it up. But you wouldn't think that. You would think maybe it's just a decorative piece, but, but there is some journaling in there. Here's another fun trick for you guys. If you buy something during the Halloween season and you like the packaging, keep it. Isn't this awesome? Holographic spiderweb packaging from this Halloween headband that I bought at H&M. And look at this one, so freaking cool, right? And this one too, from my trip that I took to Europe last year. I didn't use them in my album, but I can use this for a project, so keep them. And basically, behind this, there's a sticker tag, a red liquidation sticker, but you don't see that, and it, it framed this photo perfectly. It's one of my favorite, favorite cards in the whole album. I absolutely love it. And then this is Halloween, and my friend Sabrina Ann made me a really cute little Lydia Beetlejuice pocket for my October daily so that's another fun thing if you have some crafty friends you want to swap with create a page inspired by things you like and swap and that, and that way you have your friends project in your album as well and guys you guessed it the wrap-up pocket that I like to create at the end of each album what I like to do is if I receive happy mail or Halloween cards I do like to add them as much as I can if I can into the album of the year I even do the same thing for my project life. If I get a handmade card, <clears throat> I put them in my project life for that month because what else am I going to do with it? You know, I want to be able to see it and make use of it, you know? Don't feel bad about cutting into your Happy Mail. If you someone gives you something that you absolutely love but you don't know how to use it or what to do with it or if you have too much Happy Mail accumulating, cut it up. 
it's yours, so um, if you need to, cut it up and use it the way you need to use it. That's one thing I like to do sometimes. I like to reuse the Happy Meal I get so that I give it an extra life and give it more of a functionality to than just sitting in a box. You know what I mean? Alright guys, here's the last album. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me and watching this video. Originally, this year, I was using a different album. That is why you can see the punched holes over here. This was the cover page inside that album. I took it apart and I put it on the front of this album I had in my stash. I, this year I couldn't do October Daily every single day. I went on a trip to Europe. When I got back, I had to change things up a bit and change my plan of action. And so this is a perfect example for you guys. If you do October Daily and you don't finish, I finished this this year, months after October. So. Do not feel bad if you did not finish an album. You can always go back and finish it whenever you have some free time. This is a pocket. Again, Happy Mail. Include the Happy Mail you get, guys. This is from my friend Sabrina Ann. I absolutely love it. She used my Spooky Pastel collection. So what I did was it came with this little booklet over here. And I just, I'm going to be using this to document the days that I do not have pictures for. So it's going to be like a little extra journaling, a little storybook, if you will. I have a leaf that I gathered from a, a walk that I took in nature. And I have the Tivoli Halloween Guide. So you know how I love my kind of introduction cover pages? This is it. This is a um, flocked carousel vellum from Maggie Holmes. This is actually a paper banner that I picked up on my European trip. So I really wanted to incorporate items that I got on my trip. And I just cut off the little tags and made them into a little die cut embellishment piece. I love Snapchat filters. Another fun tip for you guys, if you have nothing to do or nothing to document, Get yourself on Snapchat and take some fun fall selfies. They're really fun and yeah, it's cool to look back on. Here I had blonde hair this year. <laughs> okay guys, another similar tip that I showed you in another album. Take those cards that you have, those card bases, and do some journaling. Add some photos. I decorated my car. <laughs> so you can do that. A Halloween Happy Meal that I received from my friend Sarah. I did a shaker pocket, another fun thing you can do, include your shaker pockets, make, make some interactive elements and they shake and they make noise and it's a lot of fun. This is another fun thing if you want to do some hidden journaling. What I do is I sometimes use these enamel dots, these little eyeballs or a pull tab or something to signify that there's something to read. So what I did was I just add a piece of washi tape as a hinge and I did some private journaling on the inside as well and I wrote out it's okay that I'm not okay. So again. Um, documenting the good, the bad, and the ugly. Another pocket. Again, you've seen these every year in my albums. I love it. And then I added this little um, piece of ribbon here so I know that there's something to pull. Keep that ephemera, guys. I took the cover. I obviously kept two. One is in my memory box. And the other one I cut up and I took the cover and then the acts and I glued them back to back. And then the rest of the page protector I made into a shaker. So this is just an interactive element. I love, like I said, making open page concepts as well with plastic pocket pages. And this is a little layout I made with a scrap piece of paper to document um, the 7th, which is me working on my October Daily. So I documented my October Daily in my October Daily. Isn't that fun? Guys, the freedom is yours. It's your album. Do what you will with it. My favorite Bath & Body Works scent, my favorite fall scent of all time, which is uh, marshmallow fireside oh my gosh I think I'm actually gonna go and burn it when I finish this video because I love it it's September and I'm allowed now right <laughs> I burn fall candles all year round it's my favorite scents so again I documented Thanksgiving as well as one of my favorite songs so if you follow people or celebrities or anything you like on social media if they post something that you're interested in take the photo and put it in your albums this goes for Project Life as well. All these cards are actually from my um, October Nights collection and my Spooky Pastel. But this year, I mixed both of them. I mixed Pastel Halloween with traditional orange and black and it looks fine. It works perfectly. So if you want to um, mix both themes, go ahead. This is the perfect example for you guys. I did it and it works really, really nice. Now this is where it stops being daily and I just kind of documented some of my favorite photos from each country we went to. So starting with Amsterdam. You guys know I love my pockets but the really fun thing about this one, I got in Norway. I got this at Flying Tiger, one of my favorite stores when I was there. And this is an example of something that I got at Happy Mail that I did 
cut apart because it was really cute it was a pocket um, it was a stuffed pocket I took out all the goodies and I wanted to use the decorations that my friend sent me so I cut up the pocket and I used the beautiful layering that she did and the beautiful little pieces that she added and I just put it into my album and this way it's a little flip tab for this pocket. This is another interactive page like I've mentioned before. Love that in my albums open concept so I can feel it. And yeah. And then this is the postcard from Tavoli. And then I cover the back of it with some pattern paper and then I added another photo of me. I was absolutely over the moon at Tavoli Gardens. The way they decorated it was so so beautiful. The back of it is really cool. Again guys, keep that ephemera. This is a ticket from one of the little haunted house attractions that they had at this park. So I took the ticket, I have a bunch more. I took one of them and I added here. I, it creates a fun decorative element but it's also real life ephemera from the park. So that's really really cool. Another paper bag. This paper bag is from Lush. So if you go in there and buy bath bombs, take some extra bags for you. And I covered up the logo with my little um, layering and photo that I did here. See right here, this washi tape? This covers the little branding that comes at the at the bottom of the bag. Fast forward, I got back, I think it was the 29th of October. So this envelope here is something that I got in, again, you guessed it, Happy Mail. This is from my friend Danny. She sent me a Halloween card. I took the envelope of the card, decorated it, and this is documenting Halloween. So this is all I have for Halloween, right here, and the back of it. So again, Snapchat filters, guys, they're so much fun. Every year, I have my Snapchat filters now in my albums, and it's a fun way to look back and remember the filters that existed back then. And here we go, we have another little pocket from Target, guys, so pick them up, they're really cute. I found some Halloween candy in Sweden, and I kept the packaging, it's so freaking cute. But to me, it has a memory and a story behind it, because I remember the day where I bought it and everything that goes along with it. And then this is the little hot chocolate pouch that my friend Danny sent me. It was green hot chocolate, which was really cool. So I kept it and put it so, in. So there you have it, guys. My October dailies from each year and my Halloween albums. Oh my god, there's so many. I can't even fit them all in this frame. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my tips and tricks for October daily. I hope you guys give October daily a try this year. If you do, Please join my Facebook group. It's a good way to inspire each other. You can post your videos, your pictures, your hauls, whatever you want for Halloween on my Facebook group. And I wanted to create this community for all of us Halloween lovers and who do October Daily so that we can have that motivation, that inspiration, and that push for us to finish. You know, we all inspire each other there. We all encourage everyone there. And um, it's just a fun community to have. So I hope you guys can check that out. I'll link down below to my shop if you're interested, to my Instagrams if you want to follow me along. There you have it guys, this is my October daily updated tips and tricks video with examples. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. I will also be sharing a bunch of stuff on my Instagram, so it's Serena B Creative, the same name here on YouTube. And I cannot wait to start October daily for this year. I'm going to have a lot of fun things planned. I'm planning a trip to California and we're going to be doing a lot of cool things, Disney, Halloween and Universal Halloween Horror Nights, so so excited, and a bunch of other really cool things. I will be vlogging my trip and everything I do with my friend Danny, so if you're not subscribed, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on my Halloween videos, and if you guys want to see my Halloween crafty playlist, I'll link it down below as well, from all the years past, as well as this year's. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next one. Stay spooky!